Hey everybody, it is Tanya Thrifty Treasures. Welcome to episode 19 of Jewelry Detectives. And today we have the chick picker, Valerie, with us. And Hello. Angie. Hey everybody. So I'm super excited to have Valerie on today. Valerie, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I'm Valerie Cunningham, otherwise known as Chick Picker. Um, I started reselling about, uh, it's probably been a, close to four years ago that I started doing it. And I was doing it part-time, uh, working full-time as a respiratory therapist. And um, then uh, two years ago, I went full-time in April. And uh, actually, it was April Fool's Day when I went full full time, and it was no it was no fool though, it was true, um, and uh, just been you know building up and and making my business better um, over the last two years, and uh, it's been great. I, I love it. That's awesome. And also, um, you guys, the link to her channel is in the description box uh, down below if you guys want to go subscribe to her. Also, Angie's is in there, too. So be sure and um, check that out. So what kind of jewelry did you bring today? Well, let's see. I have um, a couple of different pieces. Um, I wanted to show this one. This is actually something that um, I got from a Shop Goodwill um box and it is a 14 karat gold uh chain it is a and i was a little uh iffy on the uh the, the style the pattern um but i think i've kind of come up with a flat curb okay um, is that real gold that is real gold it looks heavy as all get out. And, How many grams it, is that? <laughs> it's 18 grams. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my did 18 you have grams. Did you have I, have, I did not. I have not taken it to a jeweler. Okay. Um, I that. tested it. I acid tested it. And that was, that was my very first acid test. And it came out positive. Sorry. Or 14 carat. But... Uh, no, now I'm going to be shopping again at good shop .com again. <laughs> yeah, I was really surprised. Um, so just the melt values were $397, but I would hang on to that because the price of gold is down right now. Um, Todd is in the chat. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it's down right now. Yeah, he. I've heard him say that that it's it could possibly be going up. So you might yeah. want to hang on to it. I would definitely hang uh, on to that. I've heard I've heard other other people say you know that the near the end of the year uh, people actually buy more gold and buy more expensive items. So uh, I've got it listed right now. Um, so we'll see. What do you um, have it listed for? I have it listed for three ninety nine auction. Really. Three ninety nine auction, and uh, I think I've got like three days left. I don't have any bidders on it. I have a couple of watchers on it, but but no bids. I got to tell you, Valerie, I would hang on to that. You think so? I would I, hang on to that because I feel like you can get three times that as, as much as that. I mean, once it goes back up again. Okay. I would hang on to that too. I, I agree. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Once it goes back up, uh, I would definitely sell it all. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, I'm just hoarding all my stuff right now because I'm uh -huh. Even scrap stuff that's broke because you're not just you're just not going to get anything for it right now. Right. I should have right, sold when it was up. Because it's it's yeah. low right now, correct? Yeah, and there was a while to where it was really high for a while. Yeah, uh -huh. like a bunch of stuff. Tanya, I know you keep an eye on that, so you let me know when it when it's uh, time. Okay. Definitely, I'll post it in the jewelry group. <laughs> okay. All Thanks right, jewelry post. Uh, everybody, go join Thrifty Jewelry Treasures Facebook group. <laughs> Oh, in our new group. Let's plug that real quick. So Angie asked me to create a new group uh, for the show, and it's called Jewelry Detectives on Facebook. So you guys come join us over there. Um, okay. Put the link. So that I, I thought about that because people can come in there if they're interested in coming on, and they can make a post in there, and that way, you know, we'll catch it and and uh, we'll get you on the show, and then we'll have a schedule in there, right, Tanya? We're gonna have a schedule and. People will be able to see who's on when, you know, yeah. kind of like the uh, MSP auction show where you'll be right. coming and all that stuff. It'll be cool. 
And let me know if you guys like the way I created the event. I think it's kind of fun to create the event that way because that way, right before we go live, you'll get a reminder about it and um, I can invite everybody and you can say if you're coming or not. It's just kind of fun, Great. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I'm gonna hold on to this. I'm going to end that auction and because uh, I haven't I haven't really had any interest in it. So I would either I, end it or up the price. Okay. Definitely. Maybe maybe double you think double, the I would double it at least. Sure. Okay. Double it best offer. Okay. All right. That's so no, I just can't get over that. Fine. That's amazing. I know. That I know. So, so you're not gonna tell anybody what location that was though, right? No. Nope. <laughs> nope. Right? Like well, I didn't go there anymore. And I it was I will say I I will say it was from Texas. That's all I'm gonna say. Is that right? <laughs> have you bought more from there, Valerie? After you found that, do you just keep buying at that same place then? Um, it's hard to because, like, you can tell where the boxes is, is going to be coming from, and I haven't found any more of that particular um, name mm -hmm. from 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 that uh, area. I so, see. um, I always look now because I'm like, yeah. yeah, I want another one of those, but. <laughs> It happens more often than, than you would believe because I've heard people talk about it in the jewelry group and, you know, sometimes the markings are small or they're in a, um, inconspicuous place and it's just easy to overlook and miss, uh, by the workers and they might not, not even have anybody specifically, you know, knowledgeable in jewelry looking at this stuff before they're packaging it up and shipping it out. So I kind of imagine like somebody that's, you know, working hourly, where they don't really care, you know, they don't have an interest in it. And, you know, they're just sticking their arm in a barrel, grabbing as much as they can and putting it in the box. That's mm -hmm. what I see. And um, also, yeah, <clears throat> go ahead. When, when I get, when I get, when I got this item, it was actually laying right on the top. It was so weird because it was just like stretched out diagonally on the top. Oh, waiting for wow. I mean, it wasn't even tangled up or anything like that. It was just there. Right. Oh, yeah. It's really. Like, cool. It's like here's a present for you. Boom. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, um, but I was yeah, I was very very excited. Ordered you know the testing because I didn't have any of that, so I ordered the testing um, supplies and I tested it, and everything came out positive. And I was just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> right. And you know, so, a lot of times also, I was going to say that the workers and probably even the management might might just be under the mindset that people are not going to really donate stuff like that. Like they don't think that they are, but they don't know the circumstances of how that jewelry ended up there. Sure. You know, grandma could have passed away and the kids don't care. They just boxed everything up and, and just, you know, dropped it off at Goodwill and didn't even look at the jewelry. So right, um, right, you never know what the circumstances were. That's very true. Absolutely. Um, and so, yeah, I have, I think I've got three, three boxes of, of jewelry from Shop Goodwill. After that first one, I was just, um, hooked. I know. <laughs> to say the least. So, yes. <laughs> so I think the first one was 12 pounds. The second one was 18 pounds. And then the, um, the third one was, I think, nine pounds. So I'm, I'm still going through uh, a lot of the jewelry that I got, you know, just sifting through it, kind of uh, categorizing it and, uh, you know, seeing if there's anything good in there. And I found a lot of, I found a crown trafari uh, pin, uh, pendant, and um, not pendant, it's just a brooch. Um, but it's very nice, very, very well put together. It's just a, a beautiful piece of, this is... Oh, that's cute. I just really think that's that's very you know with the black and the white. I think that's a really pretty piece. But I found a lot of a lot of good pieces, and a lot of um, you know Napier and uh, uh, oh, Monet. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I find so much Monet. It's just crazy, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, so let's go. Like, I'm still got shop goodwill on my mind. So, how about that shipping? Are you? That's something. If you guys order from them, you really gotta watch that shipping because they can on that. Yeah. So um, mine was actually pretty reasonable for the 18 
uh, the 18 pounder, they put it in a large flat rate. And so it was like 16.55. Okay, that's really reasonable. So I paid like $56 for the the auction and for the um, the shipping. So it's not bad. Not it wasn't bad. it wasn't bad. Uh, but you are going to pay up. You're going to pay, you know, because it weighs more. Yes. Um, but you can always go over to the estimate shipping and click that button and it ha already has all your your uh, demo in there. So all you have to do is click the button and it'll tell you what your shipping is going to be. Mm -hmm. um, and so you can figure, you know, if it's going to be worth it to you or not to to buy it. Definitely so, do that. And so real quick, so tell us how you're organizing your jewelry because that's a ton of jewelry that you're going through and uh, right. doing like with uh, the, like you're separating it by the stuff you want to sell and then the stuff that you like don't want anymore. What are you going to do with that? Um, I'm probably going to, I'm thinking I'm going to put it in like a jewelry, uh, um, like a flat rate, sell it like a flat rate uh, jewelry junk. Not really. I don't want to say junk because it's not junk but a uh, jewelry craft lot or something to that effect and just sell it like that. I've heard that they, you know, those sell pretty good. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that. And um, just kind of, uh, I've got some containers and so I'm just kind of um, moving things around and, and um, you know, putting the items in there. And, and if I want, if I want to list them, I'll, I have a, um, a little, Pile right. tote that I that I have you know that but so basically and this is one thing that my sister um, said to me when you're going through the jewelry you should put it in a like a baggie and you should write something on the outside right you know, because you've already looked at the name you've already looked at at the item um, and you probably already made a decision if you want to if you want to list it yeah um, and that way it saves time because you're otherwise you're going to keep going through it you that know, again so and again true. and again. <laughs> Andy and I do that also. And it's so true because I have picked up the same piece of jewelry several times. Like, it's a lot. like let me test it. So, yeah, definitely you know, I get to do that. Would you uh, like to see what I've been getting, just picking up left and right? I think I've cleared the shelves at Hobby Lobby of the organizers. Oh, yeah. I picked up six more today. I mean, yesterday after the gym because it's – Conveniently located right beside my gym, Hobby Lobby. These, <laughs> oh, these, perfect. These are $2. Oh, wow. Hobby. Those and, are perfect. Yeah, and it has, you know, these smaller areas, and then there's one one kind of a larger area right here. Oh, yeah, for like bracelets or necklaces maybe? Yeah, that's you know, a snapshot, and they, you know, stack real well. And yeah. And I have... I don't even want to tell you how many I have. <laughs> I, I think I bought every one. They, the other ones that I that are there are like way up on the top shelf, and I think I got most of them. Great. Now I have a reason to go to Hobby Lobby. There you go. <laughs> Luckily, uh, my nearest is about 60 miles. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Valerie, so um, the, the crazy card Mike in the chat says, yep, Valerie, hook like a fiend now, 14 karat gold out of the gate. <laughs> it's so true, right? Yeah. Yes. You have lots yeah. of money to be made in jewelry, you guys. Yeah. And and I think, you know, even even if it's not a precious metal, I I think you can still make good money. For you sure. know, even on even on the the um costume jewelry. You yeah. Know, I think I think you could still I think there's a lot of people out there that wear jewelry and mm -hmm. you know, still. And it's so it's probably a an ongoing, it's not something that's just a fad and is going to go away. If you're a jewelry person, you know, you're, you're going to always wear jewelry. It's classic and timeless for sure. And some costume jewelry is worth its weight in gold easily. Uh, there's certain uh, people out there that collect it and uh, definitely costume jewelry, yep. lots of money to be made. Yep. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So um, so that Trifari uh, flower brooch then? Uh-huh. I've got that. I got that out of one of the the bags, um, and it's it's really. I, I was really excited when I seen it because I I was just kind of 
just barely getting into it. So when I found it, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, I found, I found gold, you know, right. but um, it's still, it's a very beautiful piece. And I, I just really, I admire it because it's so, it's so pretty, yeah. you know, it's just a nice piece. Um, but I have this and this is something that I found in, in one of the, the boxes, but it is, um, I think it's an owl. But I'm not a hundred percent sure. I think it is an owl. Yeah, it's owlish to me. Right. So it's like that, but it's a locket. So, and this is what was in it when I, when I got it. So it opens up, and there's a a little black ball on the inside of it, and it comes out. That's odd. And what? it's kind of, it's actually kind of heavy. So I wonder if it could be maybe sterling silver and it just needs to be polished. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't look. It looks like a ball bearing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of, it does have a little bit of weight to it. It's not super heavy, but it does have some weight. Or so like I'm a sure or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> that's how I can. But you know what I mean? Like a little tiny cannonball or something. Yeah, exactly. You get mad at somebody, you have a little weapon on hand. <laughs> get my pee -pee Queen. <laughs> so that closes up and it's got a nice long chain on it. And I just think it's a really nice piece. I, I'm a, I I'm a, I love turquoise blue. I love that mint green color. Mm. And so I just love the, the eyes really. Me too. Attracted That's me enamel to it. on it, right? I'm sorry. It's got some enamel on it. Does it? I don't know. Is is or is it just a shine? That's it's just. I think it's just the sun, the shine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's a it's a really nice piece. Um, I picked this out for Angie. Oh, uh, somebody a, said essential oil for that uh, ball, like, or for the putting in there. Oh, so there's there's oil that goes into it. Like an essential oil? Could be. Uh, somebody just mentioned that maybe. Oh, okay. Um, oh, you picked that out for me? Yes. Oh, how beautiful. That, that is Monet. Oh, hey, Monet, Monet. Isn't that pretty? That is very pretty. Yeah. So as far as, you know, like something like this, I wouldn't know, um, you know, price-wise, I wouldn't know what to say and I know you 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 said earlier you know make sure you just look at comps but mm -hmm. um you know that's a that's a, just a really nice a really nice piece mm -hmm. I've never seen that one before I've seen uh numerous big pins of theirs like stars and mm -hmm. things but I haven't seen that one and is silver it? tone is is kind of rare for me I won't say rare but I'll say I I I've talked to people that have way more gold tone than they have silver tone of Monet. Oh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I picked that one out for you. Oh, um, this, I'm sorry, Tanya. A couple super oh. ch chats, Tanya. I think Carol's and uh, Neville. Oh, I'm sorry. I was looking up at Worth Point. Um, thank you, Neville. <laughs> thank you so much. And Carol, thank you. Um, one just like that one, Valerie sold for $20. Nice. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. So they call it a large vintage 70s Monet silver tone bow brooch. Okay. Awesome. So that probably paid for like half of your box right there. Oh, right? heck yeah. Mm -hmm. Easily. Yeah. I would say with what I've got invested right now, I probably have. Oh, it was Adam. A hundred dollars uh, invested in all of the boxes, all the shipping, everything. Um, so I'm kind of looking at, you know, when I, whenever I do make a sale, I'm kind of chopping that down. So um, eventually, I'll be, <laughs> I'll be making money. <laughs> right. How do you have jewelry available? Oh, I'm sorry, my dog. In your area to buy like jewelry jars and stuff like that, or is that why you buy on Shop Good World because you can't find any? Or are you? Yeah, I don't. I don't have. I have one. Um, one thrift store near me that's like 25 miles away. I live in a very uh, rural area, um, 25 miles from any fast food restaurant. 
Okay. So, so um, oh, no, that's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> so I, you know, it's just a, a. I have to, you know, because I'm in a, a rural area, I do, you know, have to kind of think outside the box and figure out, you know, other places to buy. And that seemed like a really good place. I, I, I'm good with that. Right. So that, that's kind of where I'm going. <laughs> I'm so sorry. My son had a friend over and he must be leaving and the dogs are going nuts. <laughs> well, I had fine. that earlier, Tanya. So that's fine. It's Valerie's turn next. They are killer chihuahuas. Let me tell you. <laughs> I put my dogs outside. I was like, yeah, you're going to, you're going to stay outside until, because right. I know Ringo, he's my, my baby. He's a year oh, old and he will be. Ringo and Elvis. Oh. <laughs> that's that's the dog's name. But um yeah, I mean they yeah, Ringo, he's he's kind of a loud mouth, so <laughs> they'll tell you exactly how he feels. What kind um, of dog are they? Uh they're Chihuahua. Uh, I actually Ringo is a Chihuahua uh box not a boxer, a Boston terrier. Oh, and okay. yeah, he's adorable. And uh Ring or uh, Elvis is a chug. He's a Chihuahua pug. Oh my gosh, that sounds so cute! I'd love to see <laughs> a chug. Yeah, a chug, exactly. Oh, that's so, cute. Yeah, yeah, they're they're cute dogs. Uh, Elvis is uh, four years old, and Ringo's a year old. So, oh, uh, yeah. So they're my babies. All right, so I've got another brooch here, and I'm not really sure about the brand on this. I there's a T on the back of it. But that's all the markings that that's on there. But this is um, just a gold tone uh, circle, and then it has some floral um, raised uh, areas on the front. Is there um, one stone in there? It looks like there's one area that has something in it in the middle of a flower. Um, along the edge. Along the edge. Is there something in the middle of a flower? Maybe it was just mm. a shadow the way you were holding uh, it. Or I don't I don't see anything. Let me look here. But um I, I thought this was a really nice I I I I don't know. For some reason I don't I'm attracted to what they are more than like what the brand is. Mm -hmm. You know, you're, I'm I'm just a, uh, attracted to the to the statement of them, and so um, and that's I, I'm I do a lot of clothing, and I'm kind of the same way with my clothing. It does yeah. look like this can be a pendant also, because um, yeah, there is a hole in it. Swag Maven, yeah, she said it's a hole. I have the same one. Hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Does she know who the maker is on it then? But on the, yeah, on the back, there is just a, just a small little T. So I didn't know if it was, I didn't think it would be Trufari because usually well, it's spelled out. Yeah. Um, but, it's kind of odd that they just put a hole in it like that. Yeah. But maybe they thought, you know, maybe they could wear it as a, a pendant and a, and or a brooch. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I was thinking on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of the pieces, the older pieces, were made that way to be worn, you know, like as a pendant. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. Usually they have a, a bail, though, in there yeah. somewhere mm -hmm. instead of just a hole in the brooch like that. I wanted to show you another one, another something that I found in a in a shop Goodwill. So this is a this is a watch. So it's not necessarily jewelry, but um watches are jewelry right yeah sure so this is a citizen eco drive mm -hmm. um and it does work uh so i charged it up put it in in the sunlight and it does work has minimal scratching on the um what, crystal. On, the, on the crystal that's what it's called um i should know that todd just told me that a few days ago <laughs> But it's a it's a nice watch. It has the the date and the the day, and uh, it's just a really nice watch. So 
Um, he said, I should feel comfortable listing this at $75 to $100. Really? That's so, great. So, so his watches. He does. He does. He's very good at watches. Um, so list that in your listing challenge today. Yes. Yes. I have a watch. Um, look, I'm going to hijack your little show here for a second. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> Todd, it's Todd <laughs> still. I haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, no, he's, he's, in he's, he's, yeah he's in the chat. I have this watch, and it is, um, it says Pussers, but I think it's like some kind of a rum. And I saw one just like this one, or maybe a little bit smaller, sold for like $300. Wow. On eBay. Wow. Um, worth point, but it's not real gold. But, um, $300, though. Yes, Todd, that's what it says. It says, uh, Pussers on it. I love the different flags and stuff on it. That's I know really it's cool. really cool. Let me let me see if I can move it to where you can see what it says. In Bermuda, Karen's in the beach said. And see the, in Bermuda. the face moves like this. Cool. And then that's the back. Uh, but yeah, I was. You know me. I'm gonna list it high. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> you don't. If you don't, what is it, Tanya? If you don't list it high, you don't get the money. I paid two dollars for this at a church garage sale. So. Oh, yeah. Churches are the best. They are. God bless them. That's <laughs> in a good way. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, I'm sorry, Valerie. <laughs> no, you're fine. Um, so one thing that I wanted to ask is, <laughs> how often do you guys test your precious metals? Do you, do you test everything or? Well, that's funny because I was just telling Angie the other day, I was like, why is everybody always asking about sterling? Like, why wouldn't you just get your polishing cloth if you think it's silver and polish it? And if it cleans up, then it's silver, right? Right, Angie? <laughs> or am I wrong? Wrong. <laughs> um, well, no, 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 no. You're not, you're not wrong. Um, it. I mean, if once you once you know silver, yeah. I mean, you you can pretty much tell silver once you've had silver. You know, right. it smells a certain way, it looks a certain way. Uh, but yeah, you got it, ultimately you got to test it. Uh -huh. yeah. You know, with with something. You know, with some kind of a acids or some kind of machine or something. You know, or take it somewhere or something. Right. But yeah, the cloth isn't going to tell the tell the tale. Unless okay. it's marked, right? Anyway, yeah. The marking is the marking is the telltale sign. But are there a lot of counterfeit uh, pieces out there of silver? I'm, I'm sure there are. One. I well, came you... across one piece before. And that's all I've ever seen. Uh -huh. okay. Well, I wouldn't say it happens that often. Okay. Carol says she has a personal uh, jeweler help her, and her name is Sandy. Uh, oh. <laughs> Sandy's very nice and she's very generous to offer her help to everybody. Oh, absolutely. Everybody loves her. Yep. Very true. Awesome. Um, how easy is it to test or tell if there is if you have something that's true turquoise? Oh, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I uh, just recently, like just the other day, had somebody uh, tell me about this Fire Mountain Gems catalog you can get. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, that is one, stones are my weak point, mm -hmm. like telling what a stone is. I know malachite, I know, you know, the only way I can really know, know is just to look at a picture and say, mm -hmm. yeah, that looks really, really like, exactly like my piece and also the setting to whatever it's set in you know oh yeah sterling yeah. or uh gold you know there's more of a chance that it's probably going to be real uh turquoise mm -hmm. i would think very good point Tony. um so i was looking at a or i was watching a couple of videos because i had a piece that i wasn't sure if it was turquoise or not um but i learned that there was so many different colors of turquoise oh, yeah. and you know just just a, a, a wide range and the more extravagant it is the more expensive it is so not all turquoise is the same because mm -hmm. it depends on the 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 mine that it was mined at 
and some could be, you know, a really cheap turquoise, or it could be a very, very expensive turquoise. Um, and say some some might not be mined at that mine anymore. So I mean, they're you know the mine ran dry or whatever. So it's really right. a sought after one now. I know I used right. to know the name of the one that I'm thinking of, but I can't think of it right now. Is it Kingsman? Is that is that one Kingsman turquoise or something like that? That is a very rare one. And okay. Uh, it's very sought after because they they don't mine there anymore. Okay. But, well, that's uh, good to know. How many colors? How many different colors are there, Valerie? Is there? There's blue and green. Is there? Is there some color that was different? There's brown. Than, there's brown. There's a brown. There is a. It's. It's a. a I would say it's more of an olive green, and has a lot more of the the lines that are. I don't know what they're called, like the creases or crevices that go through it. Um. Mm -hmm. And then there's like a, it, it's like a, it's not the turquoise blue, it's more of a deep blue. So there's, there's just, there's a wide array. So that, that's something that I want to kind of get into is, is find out a lot about stones and mm -hmm. gems and, yeah, awesome. and stuff like that. So I, um, April you know, I to, oh, veining. Veining. Yeah. That, that's a great word. Yeah, that's perfect. April. Yeah, I think there's a lot of uh, resellers that are in our same boat that really would like to explore the stones and, and, you know, are lacking in that area. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, you know, there's just so many and so many varieties of it. And it's just, it's a right. lot, it's a lot to learn and know. Mm -hmm. Right. So how would you, um, do you guys have diamond testers? Um, that you use to to say if there's a if you have a a real diamond. Yeah, definitely. Um, diamond testers are really cheap. They're, I think Tanya okay. knows the same one. Yeah, it looks just like that. Mm -hmm. Got it on Amazon. Okay. I would love to have a gemstone tester because I have some jade pieces that I've been curious about. Uh, but I'm just you know, mine looks just like that. Do you have one of those too, Valerie? I don't. I don't. Those will that that will be my next uh, purchase. Um, you know, to get one of those, I I'd like to get the diamond and the the gemstone because um, I think that's really important when you're, you know, when you're dealing with jewelry and sure. you know, especially if you get something with the, you know, they're really you're really not going to put something cheap like a fake uh, diamond with a you know. I wouldn't imagine it would be in like a uh, placed in in platinum or or you know probably with silver that they might go that far but you know I mean you're not gonna put cheap with cheap or right. or cheap with exactly. expensive that's what I mean yeah uh, so um, this this little uh, thing you want to keep that on there all the time protect that okay this is, the, this is where you put the little needle onto your diamond to check. Okay. And then you got to keep that little rubber thing on there. That's and then course, Andy, do your diamond, your wedding band. Show us how it works. Yeah. Show us. Okay. Well, let me get on myself. So I see what I'm doing now, Valerie, the gemstone testers are like super duper expensive. They're like two, $300. Okay. That's why I don't okay. have one yet. <laughs> <laughs> I have one, but you know what? You, you have to calibrate it and everything. And I actually did a video, and it was very bad video. It was terrible. I, I don't even know why I'm talking about it because I just wanted to forget it right after I did it. Yeah. But um, I've yeah. I've had videos like that. It's uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, I'm not a calibration person, you know. So I okay. I think that means it's good to go. But anyway, it, it's it's something that you either you, you're gonna like or you're not, you know. So right. I have only used mine one time. It's a fancy machine. The calibration thing I'm talking about, the gem tester thing, or the um, mm -hmm. the, the tester thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, come on. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I mean that. I think I would feel. Because I, you know, just like with anything else that's expensive, you want to make sure that 
I want to know that it's real. Yeah. Uh, you know, that's important to me. And so when I would like to have, I would like to have all the tools that are, you know, available to me that way I can, you know, decide if it's real or not. And I don't have the, um, so that's like what I said, that's what okay. Done. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you're fine. Um, I, I just don't, I don't have the opportunity to, uh, have a, a jeweler, you know, um, close to me that I can, you know, take it, take a piece of jewelry to and say, Hey, is this, you know, is this real? Um, I would have to travel, you know, 60 miles to, to do that. So do you have any pawn shops close to you? No. Oh, wow. No, I, <laughs> I just don't. Um, I have towns that are close to, it just seems like the jeweler or the jewelry profession has dwindled down. And so yeah. they're mainly around me anyway, they're, they're more in a, a, a bigger town. Yeah. So, <clears throat> and that, you know, that's just kind of the way it is. But so I would like to, you know, be able to, you know, learn, have, have the opportunity to have a tester that I could, you know, test the item and, and be sure that it is, you know, that it is what I think it is. Right. And I agree with you a hundred percent because when you're selling items that are worth a lot of money, you know, you're kind of putting your butt on the line there and you got to back it up and, and make sure, you know, that you're true to your word. I feel that way with the uh, Native American, the Navajo necklaces that I got in a jury jar recently. I know one of them's marked, but the other one isn't. And I've got them both listed for really high. Um, so one of my friends, uh, Patty, has suggested that I take it to a, a local place here in our city uh, that specializes in stuff like that and just kind of, you know, ask around and, you know, if she knows anything about it, you know, kind of like maybe I might want to sell it to her if she's interested mm -hmm. uh, and see if I can get a little bit more in information about it. And I might if, you know, if the price is right, because there's just so many scammers today and it, it gets, um, what's the word? You know, whenever you're dealing with that much money online, you just don't know if someone's sure. going to rip you off or not. Sure. Say that they didn't get it or if, you know, then they return it and send something else different back. Right. It's a big risk. Right. Right. And you, you just want to have all your, all your bases covered, For sure. you know, when yeah. you, when you do that. I mean, that's, that's the bottom line. Yeah, it's definitely. So, um, let's see. What else did you get from that place? <laughs> <laughs> um, I got a lot. Okay. So do you guys know anything about pearls? I love pearls. Have you ever gotten real pearls? Do you have any real pearls? Yeah, I have some real pearls. Mm -hmm. It's never been, I, I don't know. I've never had a, I mean, I think they're pretty, but I, I've never had a big desire. Um, I like color. And so I, I'm not real drawn to them, but I mean, this is a really nice uh, necklace. Uh, pearl necklace it's longer um but the you know the beads i think they're more beads than because they're kind of cratered almost um which i don't know if that's i i would say just by looking at this is it's definitely a costume piece i wouldn't i wouldn't say that they're real pearls but you know what we're gonna ask you to do right? <laughs> What's that? You're going to have to put it to your tooth. Uh-huh. And kind of like, you know, see if it feels gritty. Okay. Right, Angie? Right. And if it feels like sandpaper and really, really rough. No. Like if it's smooth, it's not. But yeah. yeah. I, never, I remember the it's first smooth. time I got real pearls. Because um, before I was like, I don't know, is it, is it? Is it gritty? Is it? Is it? Because it might be a little gritty, but it's pretty smooth. But then when right. I got a pair of real pearls, I was like, "Oh yeah!" Because it felt like it was going to take the enamel right off my teeth. It was that oh, rough. Oh, okay. So like, kind of like no mistaking it once you get some real pearls. Once you do it, okay. All right. Well, that's something to you know, because I was like, "Well, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how that's going to feel." You know, right? Rough, or as I've heard people say the same thing. Um. So, um, okay, so this is a, a piece 
I'm a little questionable about it because it is not magnetic. <laughs> um, so it's kind of like, it's almost, to me, it's almost like a, a bling piece. It's very heavy, um, okay. but it's not, it's not magnetic. So you've got the gold up here, the gold chain, and then down at the bottom, you've got this little piece there that has, um, there's like some rhinestones, and then in the middle, there's like a blue stone Ooh. with some more, I mean, it's, it's, it's quite a piece. That's I, very pretty. Yeah. Is, um, a is it long enough to be a belt? Um... It, I mean, on somebody really skinny, yeah, it could be a belt. What's the but class look like? Yeah, there's the that's the thing too is there's no way to to take it apart. There's no way to open it up that oh. I've found. That I've found, but there's but some interesting stones. Um, so I don't know. I mean, it's just one of those pieces. There's nothing that's magnetic about it. Um, so I'm not really sure. Um, and I just don't, I don't want to discount it for just a piece of no, I costume think it looks, jewelry. It looks very well made. I would take yeah. that to, if you ever get anywhere like out of your area where you right. have a jewelry store, I would yeah. take that and say, is this like gold over sterling or is it, you know, you can't find any marks on it anywhere. No. You say no, it's there's none. Yeah. Um, it looks really nice and really well made, so I wouldn't be and it, would, it would be a shame if all those, you know, rhinestones that I call it are actually diamonds. Right. You no, know, that would be I mean, and what if this is gold? I would I would really think that it'd be marked though. Yeah. Definitely. I, I can't imagine it not being marked if it was gold. Right. Have you acid right. tested it yet? I haven't. I need to. I need to do that. I don't know why, but I'm I'm very um I don't know backward. Like I'm I'm kind of scared to do I'm not used to doing the acid test yet. Yeah. I don't know why I'm I don't know why I would I be scared, that. but just a little bit, you know, reserved, I, I guess you could say. I don't. I just am, am really averse to uh, filing my jewelry. I just don't want to do that. Right. I just don't. It just. It hurts me to hurt my jewelry. You know. Right. I, right. And you don't want you don't want to mark it up. You know. But. Um, Bridget said, "If that's gold, you're taking her on a cruise." On a cruise. That's gold. Let's see how many. Let's see what it weighs. Oh my goodness. Because it's heavy. I mean, it's very, very heavy. <laughs> I would I would guess probably 24 grams, 25 grams. Yeah. It looks really well made too. Yeah. 15 grams. I thought it would be more than that, but yeah, it looks like it would be more. But it's it's very it's very heavy. Very heavy and very so yeah, that that'll definitely be something that I can put on the list to do an acid test. Maybe even do like a silver test on the silver part, mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, when I get maybe when I go out of town, maybe I can get it checked. Um, let me I see. think I'm going to recruit my husband to do the acid testing. Yeah, and to me, acid testing is like. It's kind of like bake like um, bake light. I mean, you're gonna know right away. Like, there's no there's no guessing. Is it kind of yellow for bake light? Is it not yellow? I mean, it, it will be yellow pretty much right away. Right. And, um, the same thing. That's what I struggle with the acid testing. Is I'm like, okay, is the mark still there? I can't really tell. Well, if it's you know real gold, the mark is still going to be there. Okay. Right. I just it's like wishful thinking. Why isn't that mark still there? <laughs> <laughs> that's good to know. It's yeah. it's it's very positive. Ah, uh, test then. Yeah. Right. Either Absolutely. Either. No gray area. Right. Um, let me see here. What else do I have? So here's another piece that I got. I got a lot of really nice, really nice pieces. Um, but a lot of them didn't have any kind of 
names on them or they're not marked. Um, but this is a this is actually a really nice piece. Um, let's see here before I can find the. Nikki said to take his, that stuff to California with you. You'd probably find a jewel. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. That is a out there to visit idea. your kids. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I'll be going yeah. soon. Um, let's see. So I've got this piece here. Oh, I don't know. Cool. Um, yeah. there's there's some rhinestones. Um, in there, and there's some. Uh, you know, it's just it's it's very blinging, but it's but it's actually pretty nice. Mm -hmm. um, but there's no, I don't see any markings on it um, or anything like that. So it could be just, you know, a gold tone um, type of item. What's the back of it look like? Let's see here. I can get it. See how yellow it is? It's 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 mm -hmm. almost so yellow that you would think that it would be Yeah, it's probably fake. gold coated. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. But it's, it's still a really nice piece. I, I agree. Definitely. An evening piece for sure. Yeah. And uh in that same bag I found one earring that went with it. But I didn't find the other one. Oh no! Well, if you're ordering from the same place, Valerie, set it aside. You might get it in a different bag, right? That's true. That's very, very true. I don't throw anything away. Right. Um, and I, you know, I'm not, I'm not planning on doing uh, any, any selling of any, you know, junk lots or, or, you know, craft lots, anything like that. I'm not, I'm not going to do that anytime soon. Um, so. David wants to know if there's any rock and roll ju jewelry in there for him. <laughs> I don't know what kind of jewelry that would be. <laughs> you know, David, the, the car boot picker? You know him? I think so. He, he comes in to our. David our McMillan? Yeah. 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 Okay. I know him. Yeah. He's the one from Ireland, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know him. Um, let's see. There's this piece here. This is Napier. Is that the correct way to say it? That's yeah. how I say it. Napier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It sounds. I don't know. It's, it seemed like it would be a. So this is another. Uh, this is a bracelet. So all of this stuff I found in this. Uh, these boxes. Mm -hmm. Um everything that I have. And this just is, it's just a nice little piece of, I, I like the color. I'm always drawn to this color. Me too. Um, it's like beachy blue, huh? Yes. I yes. love it. Yeah. It's a very pretty color. And, you know, with the butterflies on it, um, I, I, I love it. I'm tempted to keep it. As somebody had said the other day, you, you know, when you start doing jewelry, it's like you, you get, you have more jewelry of your own than you ever would have even imagined That's because, true. <laughs> true. because you, there's just so much of it. Um, well, every time I get a box or a bag or something, there is always something in there for me. It's like, Ooh, I'm keeping this, <laughs> right? Yeah, oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, so that's another question I want to ask is, so, like, on your brands, Monet, Trafari, Napier, are are they ever silver, sterling silver, or gold, 14 karat gold? Are any of those, do they ever have anything like that? That's a good question. And I've never come across anything that was marked real, any maker's marks. I haven't, but in our um, Monet book, I did notice they had some... Uh, I think it was sterling. I'm not sure, but there there is some precious metal Monet pieces. They're okay. Old. They're older, so I don't know about the Napier. Um, but I know that I I really like the older Napier better than the newer Napier. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems to be more well made. It looks to me like, mm -hmm. but um, but Monet just keeps its it keeps its quality throughout the. Right. It, it's never changed quality wise. So when did they start that, that company? 
1929. Gosh, can you believe that? That's crazy. That is almost a hundred years. Yeah. That is crazy. Okay, so to answer your question, it, it is yes. So I just looked up Crown Trafari, uh, 14 karat gold. Yep, and they do. Like here's a four, beautiful 14 karat gold Crown Trafari pearl necklace. Um, so I guess they do have pieces that are real. Okay. I've never come across any, but. Okay. That's a good question. Yeah, I, I mean, know you know, just too. Yeah. Just, just to kind of be aware, you know. I mean, if you're looking at, uh, of course, me, I am an amateur at this, you know, uh, being able to say if, if something's gold just by, you know, a sight or even a touch, you know, or um, gold or silver or any kind of precious metal. So I'm, I'm still learning. Um, me too. <laughs> so you know, I, I think it's just a, a learning, a learning process, and I think you're always going to be learning something about it. I like it before yeah. that fact, because um, I, I, I enjoy learning and, and you know, learning new things. Mm -hmm. um, so, but that's about all I have. I think that's, um, that's awesome. I really enjoyed everything you showed us, and I'm so happy you're getting in Kimari. Yeah, I'm happy. I have one more thing I just grabbed. It is broken. It's a broken item, but it's so cool. And it's Come great on, for Halloween. Perfect for this time of year or with Halloween? No. The, the, only, the only bad thing about it is there's a broken leg. And I have the leg. But, and I have to, I tried uh, gluing it on there. And I couldn't get it to, to work. Um, it wouldn't. I have that jewelry glue, but yeah, it's just a really, really nice piece. I'm thinking about just putting the leg in there and selling it like that. Are you a crafter at all? Um, I can be. Yeah, I might, I might just stick that on something and maybe sell it that way, or um, definitely I would put the leather leg back on. Yeah, um, maybe you I, could uh, solder, <laughs> solder it back on or something. I, I've had my husband uh, re, uh, repair some jewelry by. By soldering, uh -huh. like earrings and backs and things like that. I I don't know how to do that, but I could learn. Right. Sounds <laughs> <laughs> like a lot of trouble. <laughs> well, I guess. Funny. Yeah, that's. I thought that was really neat for you know, especially with Halloween coming up. That is cool. I have something like that too. I don't think it's as cool as that one though. Yeah, that one looks really big. It's pretty big. It's. I. Th I think it'll go. You know, once I figure out whatever I'm going to do with it, I. I think it'll go really, really quick. And you said there's so, no markings on it. There's no markings. No markings whatsoever. So, but it's just a nice piece. Yeah, yeah. I like it. And it kind of makes me think because I was looking at something said uh, about brooches, like you, in the early days when they were making these they would have the pin come out farther than, mm -hmm. um, than the cover. But um, as years went on, they started shortening those because people were getting poked. Oh, and, so, okay. and so they, you know, they shortened them. So mm -hmm. I, I don't know if that's like code or, or whatever, but that's um, so, so I'm kind of thinking maybe this is possibly even an older piece, you know, because it's longer on that side. So. You know what I would do, Valerie? Now you got me thinking. I think you should do an auction on it. Okay. And just, you know, go ahead and repair it and tell them that you repaired it. Or you might not even want to repair it. You might want to just set the little piece there and let right. them know it needs to be repaired. That way, yeah. you know, they can repair it however they want to, whether they solder it or glue it or right. do it. But you got me thinking now it might really be an older piece. Right. Exactly. So I'm curious. Yeah. About, yeah. Especially with Halloween coming up. Absolutely. Yeah, that would definitely be interesting. So um, I wanted you to uh, plug your show that you do on Wednesdays and Sundays and tell everybody a little bit about that. Okay. Because I think it's really interesting and fun. <laughs> it, it is a, a, we have a listing challenge uh, on Wednesdays, uh, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, we do a, the, the listing challenge. Basically, 
you have to list, uh, sell, and have it paid for, and show proof. So you do have to show proof of every item. Um, and it's a uh, within the within the eight hours. So it's a, a money. Uh, you you pay two dollars in for the entry fee, and then um, whoever wins, whoever gets the most points, um, wins the pot at the end of the challenge. And uh, we've had as high as ninety dollars in the pot, so it's pretty cool. Um, and it's over on my channel, Chick Picker. Um, and uh, you can find us. We do a morning show. And um, yeah. The link is in the description box down below. It's one of the first links. And Adam just put the link to your channel in the chat. Thank you, Adam. Thank you. Uh, um, also, uh, Valerie pointed out earlier that even if you don't win the pot when you're doing these challenges, you're still winning because you're listing. And that's always a good thing in eBay's eyes. And uh, it could potentially cause you to get some more sales just because you're actually doing some listing, right? Right. Exactly. Exactly. Very so true. So if I if I wanted to just come and list with you guys, but not not uh, do the challenge, I could do that and just hang out. Oh right? heck yeah! Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right. You just have to make an appearance every now and then, especially if you sell something, right, Valerie? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, we'd love to have you. We we love to have people in the chat. You know, we just have a good time, um, and usually, for the most part, I would say there's a there's usually about four people, sometimes more, sometimes less in the mm -hmm. panel. So there is a little bit of dead time in, during the challenge, but not not a whole lot because there's there's quite a few people that, that come and hang out. Um, live that, too, so. I, I, I'm sorry I interrupted you. No, you're, oh. you're fine. I usually need like complete silence when I list because I'm so distracted. <laughs> sure. You know, I'm just like, I'd be talking to y'all is what I'd be doing and right. I would be listening and I can't do both at once. Right. right. I so what you, what you could do is you could mute, you could mute us talking and then you could just go over every once in a while and look at the chat. Yeah. Because yeah. a lot of times we're going, we're, we're in the chat just as much as we are talking. Mm -hmm. Right. So that not way you're not listening. Then. Well, we, we make time. We find time. That's, <laughs> That's besides the point. You know, we're just visiting, you know. Yeah. And, and we're having a good time. We put in two dollars. You know, it's very minimal. Right. And you yeah. know, it's a good time to to just kind of hang out and list at the same time. So our life can be lonely, right? You don't yes. have workers, so right. it's nice to hang out with people every now and then. It sounds yeah. fun. It's, it, and I see a lot of people in the chat over here are talking about how much they like it and Nikki says she never shuts up. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> Nikki, we gotta love us some Nikki, don't we? All right. <laughs> but Angie, like I would say, you know, it wouldn't hurt. A lot of people will just pay the two dollars, and if they get, you know, a couple of listings in, great. And if one of those happens to sell, even better, you know. Yeah. So it, it's always, you know. It's always good just to to put your two dollars in and mm -hmm. and you know see what happens. Yeah. So, yeah. so does it have to sell by four p.m.? Is that the cutoff date? Or it cutoff? does. Okay. Yes. Okay. Four p.m. Uh, and and just remember, you know, proof is you know just a, a a screenshot or an email or something that says that it was listed, and it has to be three different screenshots. Um, basically, just you know, we want to keep it. We had to do the proof thing because it does deal with money and we want everything to be fair. So, um, Makes sense. and I participate also. And when I, when I get a point, I'll, I'll show, you know, somebody else and, and they'll verify it. So just to make everything, you know, good. So it's all legit, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. So I just wanted to remind everybody to please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already and be sure and subscribe to Angie and Valerie. The links to their channels are in the description box down below. And if you'd like to be a guest on Jewelry Detectives, please message me or Angie and we'll get you set up with a date. So I want to say thank you so much to Valerie for coming on and hanging out with us and showing us your jewelry today. Thank you for having me. Pieces, and I can't wait to see what you sell them for. Me neither. <laughs> yeah. 
Thanks. It was really yeah. fun. Yeah. Thanks, thanks for, for having me, guys. Appreciate it. And thanks to everybody in the chat for joining us. Always love to see you guys in the chat. So we got, we'll see you next time, probably in a couple of weeks, right, Angie? Yeah, Kathleen is scheduled uh, part two for the 29th. Okay. okay, sounds good. We'll see you guys on the 29th. Thanks for joining. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye.